here we have it folks the t-mobile revelry plus yes folks a teardrop notch a huge 6.2 plus inch display 1080p visuals and what else does this baddie have inside of it get ready to find out in another joey the snapper video let's watch it plus folks here's a video that motorola wants you to see crisp vivid photos with dual cameras look at that you're getting a reduced blurred with optical image stabilization yes you get optical image stabilization look at the difference folks you get stunning 4k video stunning throw that bike in the air capture the night with night vision yes you get night vision visuals and look at that half a day's charge in 15 minutes all day battery you're getting 24 hour plus battery on this 6.2 inch 1080p display as mentioned and look at that even dolby atmos an octa-core processor just like the regular Rebel Re, but the Rebel Re Plus offers a slightly faster Snapdragon processor. So you're getting a tremendous value for a phone that's 350. You have a beautiful Chris 6.24 inch uh, 1080p display. It's very, very nice, folks. It is glass in the back. We're also talking about a fingerprint sensor in the back, so you get to uh, unlock your phone with your fingerprint, just like all the nowadays smartphones. It is a very quick unlock. You also get the face recognition as well, so you get both of these security measures with this device. It is actually pretty swift. It's much faster than the Revelry that we reviewed earlier. It gives you all those Android apps, the stock Android experience. Yes, folks, you're getting a stock Android experience on a device with an octa-core processor. You know what that means. You're getting a sleek, swift experience. Not only that, you're getting a beautiful HDR 1080p display on top of that. Let's go into retail mode and see what this phone got for us. So you got Capture the Night with Night Vision. If you try the Night Vision, you can see this is a comparison of a picture that was taken with the Revelry Plus. Um, here you have night vision on the left, here you have without night vision. So it still looks pretty pretty on the right. This is phones without night vision, but this is taken on the Revelry with night vision. So you're getting a clearer shot, you're getting a much better look at the environment with that. And then you have that darker image here with, with these high blacks. Let's talk about an artistic blur. So you got editing on this. So you try it here. You get portrait mode on this device. So here you could actually edit the depth in this portrait mode, you can go to the right, increase depth. This is a stunning, stunning camera, folks. This is very impressive. I will argue this is a much better camera than what you're getting on the OnePlus 760 and even the OnePlus 7 Pro. Very impressed with this device. Very impressed with this device. You're also getting stereo sound. What they mean by that is Dolby Atmos. Usually seen in premium range devices. Look at this. get that full uh, audio experience with that. Here we go for the specs. We got that 6.2 inch Full HD Max Vision display, as we mentioned earlier, 1080p, HDR light quality processor that's even faster than the one found in the Rebel Re. The Rebel Re Plus gives you that octa-core Snapdragon processor, which gives you a great boost for your performance for gaming, photo editing, and more. The camera, we got that 4K video. This records in 4K, gives you slow motion, time lapse, and night vision mode. You don't find that in a lot of mid-range phones. This is a very, very good device. Battery life, it's gonna give you a 15 minute, uh, half a day charge. Incredibly fast charging with its USB Type-C. Of course, it does not have wireless charging, so that's a, a, a downer. But again, this phone starts at around the $300 to $350 price in the US market as of the release of this video. The storage, you're getting 64 gigs, which is double what the Revelry gives you. The 64 gigs is expandable, apparently, so you can add a micro, US, uh, micro SD card in there. You also get those stereo speakers with Dolby Atmos. Overall, this phone is giving you a lot for $350. I love to go on YouTube and give you that little scrolling experience. How fast is it? Is it really, really fast? It's pretty, pretty fast. You can even compare it to some of the premium devices like the iPhone XR and the Galaxy S10e. You do get four gigs of RAM in this baby. So on Android, four gigs of RAM is typically eh, pretty okay, especially for a stock Android experience. Um, now let's look at one of these videos that aren't formulated by Motorola to give you. <clears throat> Obviously the display is not 4K, but it does give you a close HDR display. So I love using this video to showcase the abilities of these devices. Let's increase the brightness here. As you can see, the multitasking is swift. It's a little faster than the Rebel Re. Pretty impressed with that. It's already at its fullest brightness. Let's increase the resolution of the video. Up here with these three dots up here. Oops, sorry about that. Quality, we're gonna get to the highest quality, which is 1080p on this. So yes, in other words, let's increase the volume to its maximum potential. Let's see what we got here. Wow, folks. 
stunning, stunning colors. That teardrop notch is genius, folks. I love teardrop notches in comparison to the big iPhone notches. Oof. The audio is very impressive for a mid-range device. Putting it up there with those OnePlus 6T devices. Wow, look at that. Look at the quality of that. Look at the quality of that image. Those colors are popping. Wow. It looks even better in person, folks. Even better in person. Oof. In terms of grip and how it feels in your hand, it's a little less slippery than the Rebel Re. Um, it's glass on the back or plastic. It feels like glass. And in the front, it's also glass. Um, it doesn't feel too slippery. Obviously, if you have a really good case, like an OtterBox or something, it would be really good. It does give you a USB Type-C charger. It does have that headphone jack. And again, the Dolby Atmos experience with those speakers. You do have a back that is not removable as well. Um, overall, I think it's a really good phone for 350. It's another option that's been added to the market. T-Mobile has been stepping it up as a carrier in the US by offering different types of options. You now have the OnePlus brand. This is actually a rebranded Moto G7 Play. A really good Motorola mid-range device that's been rebranded as a T-Mobile Rebel. I assume that T-Mobile wanted to have a good deal with Motorola and sell their phones under their, their branding. So, you know, some of us don't really like all that extraness with the, with the branding, but, you know, this gives you the entire T-Mobile experience on a smartphone. Um, it's pretty cute, too. You get those uh, uh, magenta-colored buttons and beautiful magenta display. But yeah, overall, I'd say it's a really good device, 350, but I will say this is an extreme upgrade from the Rebel 2 Plus. If you have a Rebel Plus or Rebel 2 Plus, um, or are thinking between this and the Rebel Re, and you have the money and the budget to get it, I would definitely go for the Rebel Re Plus. You have a 6.2 inch display, 1080p as mentioned earlier. You're getting a premium handset experience, a near premium handset experience for a price that is half. I would say this is a better deal than getting a $750 premium phone. I would get this over the likes of some $700. S10e, maybe, you know, if I was on a budget, this would be a really good device over something like an S10e, in my opinion. But again, that's just my opinion. I do think it is a great phone and it's another option for all of us to get. As always, subscribe, share, like, let me know what you thought about this video. Let me know what you think. Will you be getting this uh, device? Let me know and I will continue posting videos. And as always, enjoy the snappers here for your pleasure and entertainment and pop culture news. Another pop culture event has come and it is the Revelry and Revelry Plus. Have a great and wonderful day. Snappers.